streaming platform audio mac has just made a major power move in the back ends of the industry and if you're unfamiliar with audio mac you never used it you never looked into it you might want to think a little bit differently after this video let's go ahead and get into it it's the mat work <laughs> What's going on? My name is Cole Reed, co-founder of Country Brand Agency, and today I want to talk about this, this beautiful power move that the streaming platform Audio Mac has just made. Now, like I was saying earlier in the video, if you're unfamiliar with Audio Mac, they are a streaming platform that currently boasts over, I believe, 16 million or so users. So they're not like a super huge streaming platform, but they've been making a lot of ways within the last, I would say, a year and a half, two years or so. They originally started as a mixtape platform back in the day with all the OG websites like that Piff and a lot of mixtapes, but they were one of the ones that managed to evolve and survive within the streaming era and actually become a viable streaming platform for music artists and for fans today, you know what I'm saying? So kudos to them, because that's pretty fire. So they just made a big power move that I think is going to boost them in the industry. I think it's going to add a lot of credibility to the platform and to people who are growing on the platform. And it's something that you, you, you might want to know about, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you might want to get into this. But before we get into all that, come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description below. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all that good stuff. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So what exactly is this power move that I'm talking about, right? Well, as of this past week of me making this video, Audio Mac streams will now count towards Billboard chart positions and RAA certifications. Meaning that your Audio Mac streams will now count for you to be able to get onto the Billboard 100, the Top 200, or any Billboard chart that you're interested in as well as counting towards your streams for gold, platinum, and so on certifications. And this is a huge power move for AudioMap because they are the first streaming platform in a while to get added to that, that Billboard point system. I think the last time that we seen a new platform get added to it was what, maybe YouTube views in 2018. Um, so about two years, two, three years ago, you know, so no other new platform has even been added in the same way that Audio Mac has today. So that makes it huge within itself. And once again, as me making this video, currently the streams from Audio Mac that count will be the paid streams from paid users and ad supported streams, which is a fancy way of saying all the people using it for free. So all of Audio Mac streams counts towards billboard chart positioning and they count towards your RIAA certifications. Once again, I think this is huge because it's going to make people take Audio Mac a lot more seriously. If you've been following me for the last, I don't know, year or so, uh, I've been talking about Audio Mac in a way that if you're putting your music on SoundCloud, on YouTube, or any free streaming platform, then Audio Mac should definitely be included in that, in that package. One, they pay you for your streams, which is amazing already, right? Two, it's pretty easy to distribute your music on there. You can just make an account or you can go through most distributors, distributed Audio Mac. I think TuneCore does, I think DistroKid does. All of them really should. And three, it has, uh, it gives me SoundCloud vibes. Like if you liked old SoundCloud, if you're one of those people that talk about how you missed the vibes of old SoundCloud and the community and how much organic reach and traffic you could get from old SoundCloud, Audio Mac pretty much gives me that same vibe. You know what I'm saying? It, it, is, it is SoundCloud 2.0, if you ask me. And I think that they do some things better than SoundCloud and they've managed to continue growing without the stigma of being an, you know, there's no Audio Mac artist. You know, the same way we kind of rip on SoundCloud rappers and SoundCloud artists, there's no Audio Mac artist, you know, so they can kind of get over that while being able to do some of the same things that people loved about SoundCloud. So once again, I know this news isn't going to affect most of you, you know, like most of you aren't trying to get onto the billboard charts. You're not trying to get a gold single or you're not at the stage right now to where you should be caring about that type of stuff. But it's interesting because that means that the projection of, of audio Mac can only go up from here, you know, like with so many people now realizing that, oh, audio Mac is going to count towards this big goal I have in the music industry. More people are going to start using it. That means that more traffic is going to be brought to the platform which means that there are gonna be more eyes that could possibly see your music if you are one of the ones using the platform. The only bad thing I can see coming out of this, I have thought about, and I've seen some of my followers talk about it on my other platforms, but the only bad thing I can see is that labels start to manipulate the audio map system in order to game their streams for a billboard, right? Like they come in and they figure out a way to just unnaturally inflate their numbers over there before everyone hops onto it. And, and you know what I'm saying, they just milk that game while they can. It's a very real possibility. We've seen them do it before. You know, we're going to see them do it again and again when platforms come out. So that's the only real worry that I have, you know, 
But, I mean, you know, it happens. It'll subside, and things will kind of peter out. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you use Audio Mac? Do you not use Audio Mac? Do you like it? Do you not like it? If so, why? If you have any alternate recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always interested to see what you guys are getting into and what you're using to pop yourselves off. Other than that, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well, as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.